Hey guys, today's video is a one brand tutorial on this look right here. My last one brand tutorial was a full face elf makeup look and I got pretty positive feedback so I want to do these more often. So today I am using all Makeup Forever products. My next one brand tutorial will be drugstore. So I want to do like one drugstore, one high end and then alternate them back and forth. So today it's high end since my last one was drugstore. And if you want to see how to get this look, then just keep on watching. I'm going to start by priming my face with the Step 1 Equalizer. This is the hydrating one. This one is probably my favorite one just because I do have dry skin and I love how it sits underneath my makeup. Then I'm going to take my Holy Grail foundation. Not just because it's Makeup Forever, it's literally my favorite foundation. You guys know this if you saw my foundation video. This is the Face and Body Foundation. It's waterproof, it lasts such a long time. It's a very sheer coverage, but I find that it does even out my skin tone. And because the coverage is kind of sheer, I do have to build it up and work with it. So that's why I am fast forwarding this part because if not, we would be here for like a good two minutes. But I'm just applying that with a flat top Sedona lace brush. And now I'm making this face because when I wanted to film this video, I realized I didn't have a concealer by Makeup Forever. So I ran to the store and I purchased one on Sephora. This is the waterproof full coverage concealer. I have mine in the shade number four. Honestly, this stuff is amazing, but I think it would be better for blemishes because for underneath the eyes, even though it has great coverage, it's a little tacky and it's a little thick, so it does crease. I mean, it worked perfectly fine for me and it lasted for the rest of the day, but you do have to set it immediately because if not, it will crease because of the thickness. But hey, I uh, can't complain, I'm liking it. So because I don't have a Makeup Forever setting powder, I am just getting a little creative here and I am using a um, artist eyeshadow in the shade M500 which is like a vanilla creamy matte shade so it set my concealer perfectly. By the way, I also put that concealer on my eyelids to act as a primer. So I decided to go ahead and do the rest of my face first. I never do that, but that's what I'm doing. And I'm gonna use this um, Pro Bronze Fusion Bronzer. I believe that's what it's called. And I'm pretty sure this one is in the shade 20M. It's my favorite one because it has um, the coolest undertone. The other ones are a lot more warm. The other ones are amazing too, but this one is perfect for contouring. So I am contouring my face using a Morphe brush from their Elite Collection. You do have to build these bronzers up, but they apply perfectly. It's not powdery at all. It's one of the best bronzer formulations I have ever seen. And then I decided I wanted a little bit more contourness, like that brush was a little bit too fat. So I picked up the Makeup Geek Chiseled Face Brush. It's one of her new brushes and it gives you that very chiseled contour look. I'm feeling it. I like this brush so far. So for blush, I am using this cream brush. Cream brush, wow. No, cream blush. It's a vibrant, vi oh my gosh, I cannot speak today. It's a vibrant pink, but I like it with this makeup look and it's not too intense. I'm applying it with a Real Techniques stippling brush. I believe this is in the shade 210 or 220, but I will have everything down below. So yeah, I'm just applying a very soft layer. I don't want too much, you know. Now taking the Pro Sculpting Duo in 01. First, I'm taking a stippling brush and applying it into the bronzer just to warm up my face a little bit because I did want to add just a little bit of warmth, you know, since the bronzer was a little bit more on the cool side. Then I'm dipping my Sephora fan brush into the highlight shade, which is the stunner of this little duo. It's a nice frosty, pinky, pearly shade and I really love it. So that is my highlight. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and jump into the eyes. So I'm using all of the Makeup Forever Artist eyeshadows today. And the first eyeshadow I'm using is M548. And I'm using this on a Morphe um, crease brush to just apply into my crease. You know the drill, my transition shade. And now my favorite, it's probably, I'm not gonna lie, my favorite Makeup Forever eyeshadow ever. It's such a pretty like eggplant purple and this one is M928 and I'm applying this with an elf brush on my entire eye and I am working in sections like I'm applying it little by little because I want that full on color so I'm just packing it on and taking my time. Then on a smaller crease brush with like no additional product I'm just blending out any harsh lines that like the purple created. 
Then I'm gonna take one of my other favorites from the Artist Eyeshadow line, and I believe it's called the Pinky Brown on Sephora, but it's a really pretty uh, pinky brown, yes. The numbering is M500 or M600, yes, M600. And I'm using this in my crease with a MAC 217 just to blow it out and then I'm going right back into the purple and just intensifying it because once you start um, blending other colors in the crease, the lid shade kind of disappears a little bit. So as you can see, I'm going back and forth with those two colors just to intensify everything. And then I'm taking that same vanilla shade I used to set my concealer and I'm using that as a brow bone highlight. And then I'm taking something a little bit shimmerier because everything is so matte, I wanted the brow bone just to have a little bit of shimmer and I used I414 for that. Now on a pencil brush, I'm applying this to my lower lash line and then I remembered, oh, I wanted to put eyeliner and I forgot to do that. So this is a Makeup Forever Eyeliner in Brown and I'm just applying that on my waterline and then I'm going right back to doing what I was doing earlier. So this is like a Morphe pencil brush and I just applied that purple all across my lower lash line then taking a bigger pencil brush and dipping it into pinky brown and just smoking that out. So for liner, I am using this graphic liner. I actually bought this with the Christian Grey or like 50 Shades of Grey collection I bought like during Christmas. And now is when I'm getting around to using it. It is so black. So I just applied my typical like small little wing. And then I'm going to load on the mascara. This is the Smoky Lash Mascara. No, Smoky Extravagant Mascara. And then I am using that same shade I used under my brow bone, the uh, I414, just to intensify my inner corners. So we are almost done, but now to do the lips, I'm taking this lip liner in the shade 1C, and I am lining my lips and then filling in my lips as well. And then I wanted something a little bit more on the cool side, like I wanted a cool toned lip. So I'm using this Aqua Rouge, it's a liquid lipstick basically. And this one is in the shade number one. It's like a super gray, cool toned liquid lipstick. So I only dotted some in the center and then blended it out with my finger just to make it a cool toned lip, but not like super gray. So that completes this look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.